Why won't the lift do anything when I push the up or down buttons? This wheelchair lift is equipped with a number of safety features that will prevent the lift running up or down. If the lift is a portable model, make sure that the wheels have been removed and the lift base is sitting on the ground, as the lift will not operate normally with the casters on. See the setup procedure for instructions on how to remove the casters. If the lift is a portable model, ensure the lift is connected to power and that the inline GFCI has a green light on. This indicates that power is being supplied to the lift. If the light is not on, try pressing the reset button. If the lift is equipped with a manual disconnect, ensure that the disconnect is in the on position, allowing power to be supplied to the lift. Next, ensure that the on-off switch behind the locked access panel is in the on position. This allows for power to be supplied to the lift's electrical controller. Push and reset the red emergency stop button to ensure that it is not actuated. The lift will not run up or down while the switch is pressed. Check to make sure that both gates are completely closed. The lift will not run if it senses that one or both of the gates are open. If the lift thinks that a gate is open, it can be because the gate is physically open or it could be because the gate switch is not being properly actuated. See the end of this section for a brief description on where the gate switches are located and how they work. If the problem is still not resolved after performing these basic troubleshooting steps, contact Ascension or your lift servicing company for troubleshooting assistance. The following provides a brief description on where the gate switches are located and how they work. The Proje lower landing gate and also the upper landing gate on fixed lift units has different interlock assemblies depending on how old the lift is. For this type of interlock, the magnetic switches mounted at the back of the strike side cutout must sense the magnet attached to the end of the actuator for the lift to think that the gate is closed. Additionally, when attempting to run the lift, the silver solenoid locking rod must drop and depress a switch hidden above for the lift to think that the gate is locked. On occasion, the rod can get sticky and will stay up even when the solenoid is not actively holding it up. Oiling the top of the rod can help with this. Contact Ascension if you need the instructions for performing this maintenance task. For this type of interlock, the silver actuator must be fully inserted into the interlock mounted behind the cutout for the lift to think the gate is closed. The actuator also needs to be inserted for the interlock to be able to lock. This style of interlock can be manually overwritten, which prevents the interlock from being able to lock. If the interlock is overwritten, insert a 764 hex key to engage the triangular recess in the interlock switch and gently turn a quarter turn clockwise. The Proje upper platform gate has magnetic switches mounted behind the sheet metal skin that must sense the steel strike on the gate for the lift to think that the gate is closed. This gate does not lock. If you still have any questions or concerns after watching this video, feel free to contact Ascension for further assistance.